As you may have heard, Prince Harry recently took a trip to Nigeria as part of his work with one of his charities. While there, he met with the Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff, Lucky Raber. However, it seems the chief had some unexpected instructions for Harry regarding his wife, Meghan Markle. Let's take a closer look at what happened. It's no secret that Harry and Meghan have faced quite a bit of controversy and criticism since stepping back from their senior royal roles in 2020. Their numerous interviews discussing their experiences with the royal family haven't helped matters, some felt their comments put an unfair negative light on the monarchy. This likely contributed to the tense reception they received on some of their recent trips abroad representing the Queen as non-working royals. With this context in mind, it's understandable why the Nigerian military leader may have wanted to ensure the couple's visit went smoothly, without any unnecessary distractions or problematic incidents. Harry was in Nigeria to discuss partnerships between the UK and Nigerian armed forces in supporting mind-clearing initiatives. It was an important diplomatic trip touching on serious issues. The last thing the defense chief probably wanted was for it to be overshadowed by renewed royal family drama stirred up by any off-script comments from Meghan. According to reports, when she the Raber sat down with Harry for their meeting, he politely but firmly told the prince that Meghan should not speak or interject during their discussions. The chief explained he only wanted to converse with Harry directly about the planned programs and cooperation between their countries. He did not want Meghan joining in the talks or attempting to steer the conversation in a different direction with her own opinions. Some saw this as a reasonable request to keep their meeting focused solely on the scheduled agenda. However, others argued the chief's instructions towards Meghan came across as rather dismissive and disrespectful. She is Harry's wife, after all and as a representative of the UK like her husband, she should have been welcome to actively participate in the engagement if she desired. The implication that she may disrupt or distract from the talks with her input hints at a subtle undercurrent of sexism. While ensuring the meeting remained on topic is understandable, the chief could have politely asked for Meghan's limited participation rather than outright telling her not to speak at all. Unsurprisingly, News of the chief's instructions did not sit well with some royal fans, particularly in light of ongoing claims of covert racism and conscious bias against Meghan from certain circles. It appeared to validate fear she would face dismissal, silencing, and disrespect simply for being an assertive, outspoken American woman of color joining the traditionally conservative British royal family. Of course, we can't know for certain if race played any role in the chief's directive without further context but the optics understandably struck a nerve for Meghan's supporters. As for Harry and Meghan's reactions, they have not publicly commented on the incident. Out of respect for their host and the important issues discussed, they likely chose to keep the focus on their engagements in Nigeria rather than fuel more public controversy. Reports indicate the meeting proceeded smoothly without disruption, and the couple's wider trip passed without incident. However, privately, the exchange may have reinforced Harry's ongoing frustrations over the way in which some continue to mistreat and disrespect his wife, even when representing the Queen overseas. There are fair points on both sides of this situation, and reasonable people can disagree on the chief's intentions and how this encounter should be interpreted. At the end of the day, cross-cultural communications and diplomatic visits often involve nuanced interactions that can too easily be oversimplified or blown out of proportion depending on one's perspective. While the chief's request towards Meghan may have been well-meaning to maintain order, the dynamics at play are complex, with layers of historical and social contexts shaping different reactions. As long as structural biases persist in institutions worldwide, a woman of Meghan's background will, unfortunately, face extra scrutiny and skepticism in certain circles. However, That is an ongoing societal issue that will take open and honest discussions, not accusations, to make meaningful progress on. For their part, the Sussexes have continued championing important causes and representing the values of inclusivity and diversity throughout their transition. Despite facing setbacks, they appear committed to using their platform constructively.